In this video, we're going to talk about how to find equations of lines using the point-slope form of a line. Now, let me show you the point-slope form of a line. Assume that we know any point on the line. We'll call it x1, y1, where x1 is the x value, y1 is the y value. Now, this could be any point on the line. And also, assume that we know the slope of the line to be m then this equation right here, y minus the y value that we know equals the slope times the quantity x minus the x value that we know. Okay, so in this first example, you don't really have to use this form, but let me go ahead and show you this form first so, since that's what I'm, I'm displaying here. So let's find the equation of the line that contains the point 0, 5 and has slope negative 3. Okay, so right here in this little red square is where I'm going to do this. So we take y minus the y value of the given point. We're given that the line goes to the point 0, 5 and the y value is 5. So that would be y minus 5. And then that equals the slope, which we're given is negative 3 times the quantity x minus the x value, and the x value is 0. Well, since this is just going to be x minus 0 is just going to be x, we know on the right-hand side that's just going to be minus 3x. So we have y minus 5 equals minus 3x. And then all you have to do is add 5 to both sides. So if you add 5 to the left side, you get y. And if you add 5 to the right-hand side, you get negative 3x plus 5. And so that's how you find uh, the equation of the line that goes through this point and has this slope using the point slope form of the equation of a line. Okay, but if you realize that the point you're given is the y-intercept, this point 0, 5 is the y-intercept. So in other words, we know the b is 5. We actually don't have to use this formula. We can go back to the form y equals mx plus b and we can do this a lot quicker. So if you say y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, negative 3, we get negative 3x, and b is the y value of this y-intercept, which is 5, then we can get the slope as y equals minus 3x plus 5 from that. Now, of course, you're not always going to be given the y-intercept. You might be given some random point, like, for instance, on number 2, you're given that you want to find the equation of a line that contains the point negative 2, 5, and has a slope of negative two-thirds. Okay, so there, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to uh, use that uh, point, that uh, point slope form up here. And so we're going to say y minus the y value, which is 5, equals negative two-thirds times x minus the x value. Now, if you want to, you can do this in your head and say minus a negative two is plus 2 and just go straight to this step. But I'm just to be careful, I'm going to go ahead and do it in two steps. So x minus the negative 2 here, and then in the next step I know x minus negative 2 is x plus 2. Okay, well now I need to distribute the negative 2 thirds. So negative 2 thirds times x is actually negative 2 thirds x, and then when I multiply negative 2 thirds times 2, I get negative 4 thirds. Now, the last step is to get the y minus 5, where I just have the y. So I need to add 5 to both sides. So if I add 5 to the y minus 5, that'll just give me y. And if I add 5 to these terms, that'll just give me these terms plus 5. Now, the problem that we run into here is I need to combine minus 4 thirds with plus 5. And the only way I can combine those is get a common denominator. So... I'm going to write uh, 5 as 5 over 1, and then if I multiply the top and bottom of this by 3, then I get 15 on top and 3 on the bottom. So actually, I know that 5 can be written as 15 thirds. So now I have minus 4 thirds plus 15 thirds, and now I can just add the numerators. Minus 4 plus 15 is 11, so I get 11 thirds. So my final answer would be y equals minus 2 thirds x plus 11 thirds. There's another time when you can use this same formula. It's when you're given two points that's on a line. 
So when you're given two points that are on the line, uh, you can actually find the slope of the line. And after you find the slope of the line, you can use either one of these two points in the point slope formula. So the slope formula, if you'll remember the slope formula, it's y2 minus y1, so it would be 8 minus 4, that gives me 4. And then x2 minus x1 would be minus 5 minus negative 3, so that's minus 5 plus 3, which is negative 2. So I get 4 divided by negative 2, so now I know the slope is negative 2. Now, I told you I could use either one of these points. I can use either negative 3, 4, or I can use negative 5, 8. So I really don't have a preference over which one, so I'll just use the first one, negative 3, 4. So now that I have the slope and I have a point on the line, then I can use the point-slope formula. So I do y minus 4, and then I get the slope times x minus negative 3, which, of course, is x plus 3. And then distribute the negative 2. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times 3 is minus 6. And then just add 4 to both sides. Add 4 here and add 4 here. And you'll get the 4s over here will cancel. You'll just get y. And over here when you add 4 to negative 6, you'll get minus 2. So y equals minus 2x minus 2. Now if you needed to graph these, you could graph these. Uh, using the techniques I showed you earlier. Um, one thing you might do, i tell you what, let's make this a little exercise. Why don't you also find the equation of the line using this point, negative 5, 8, instead of negative 3, 4. When, you're, when it's all said and done, you still should get the same equation, y equals minus 2x minus 2. On this example, if you actually plotted these two points, you would see that the lines, the line would actually be a horizontal line. And so you could just say the line is y equal whatever the y value is, which is 3. But you, this point slope formula will still work. Uh, if you want to find the slope of the line that goes through these two points, just uh, use your slope formula y2 minus y1 would be 3 minus 3, so you get 0 on top. And then over x2 minus x1, that would be 5 minus negative 1, which is 5 plus 1, so you get 6 on the bottom. 0 divided by 6 is 0. And so if you use the slope of 0 and just use this point, negative 1, 3, again, you could use the other point if you wanted to. But if you use that point, then you get y minus 3 equals the slope, which is 0, times x plus 1, but 0 times anything is just going to be 0, so that's just going to give me y minus 3 equals 0, and then if I add 3 to both sides, I get the equation y equals 3. So in that case, the uh, you get the, the horizontal line y equals 3. And that covers that, and in the next video I'll talk about parallel and perpendicular lines.